Alright, in this video we're going to do an example of using determinants to find the area of a triangle. And the triangle is going to have vertices at the point 4, 0, 7, 2, and 2, 3. The formula we use is the one here in the middle, this A equals 1 half, and then we have all the determinants. The vertices have to be listed uh, in a, a counterclockwise order around the perimeter. So I drew a picture. We've got 4, 0, 7, 2, and 2, 3. Well, I just uh, decided to start at this point 4, 0. It doesn't matter where you start. So that's going to be my x1, y1. But then if we move to the right, our x2, y2 will be 7 and 2. And then uh, if we keep following this counterclockwise motion, x sub 3, y sub 3 will be the point 2, comma 3. So at this point, we just have to fill in this formula and then compute the determinants and add them together and multiply by 1 half. So let's see, x1, y1, that was 4, 0. x2, y2 is 7, 2. Uh, again, x2, y2, x3, and y3, that's going to be 2 and 3. And then our last x sub 3 and y sub 3, that'll be 2 and 3. x1 and y1 will be our point 4 and 0. All right, so let's see what we get here. Um, we can compute these determinants. So we can do 4 times 2, which is 8. 0 times 7 will be 0. Our next determinant will get 7 times 3, which is 21, uh, minus 2 times 2, which is 4. And then our last determinant will get 2 times 0, which is 0, minus 3 times 4, which is 12. All right, so we get 1 half. It looks like inside our brackets we have 8 plus, let's see, 21 minus 4 is going to be 17. Um, 0 minus 12 is going to be uh, negative 12. Well, 8 plus 17 is 25. 25 minus 12 is going to be 13. And if we multiply that by 1 half, we're simply going to get that the area of this triangle uh, with these vertices would be, uh, the area would be 13 over 2 uh, units squared, whatever your, your units are. So um, kind of an interesting little formula in how you can use these determinants, I think, to find um, the area of a triangle. You can certainly generalize this to a polygon, of, uh, any polygon, um, with, with in, for example, in points, and we'll do an example with that where we have something a little more complicated than just a triangle in another example.